Hey guys, it's Andy. Listen, I've been doing this for over 23 years in the automotive industry. I want to share something with you. Something I commonly get a lot of is, Andy, I'm burnt out, I'm on E, and I'm this close to quitting and getting out. Never quit. Listen, I got your back for life. I promise you. Stay close to me and you'll never get burned out. What I decided to do is create a video today that's literally going to cover 10 things that will allow you to never get burned out ever, ever again. So as I'm on my way to my conference room, I just want to share with you. If you feel like this is you, and by the way, maybe it's not you today, but you feel like it's something that you've struggled with before in the past, I want to show you not only how to fix it right as you feel burnout to start to come on, but I'm going to give you 10 ways where you can crush it, play at the top level of your game, and get ready to destroy it. So the, what I'm going to teach on today is how to crush it on never getting burned out again and crushing it selling cars. Guys, come on. Let me teach you on this. Hey guys, what's up? It's Andy. Okay, so listen, here's what I want to talk about real quick. How to avoid burnout in sales. I just got done talking to you outside about I was going to teach you how to get around burnout. What I'm going to do so I don't make this too long of a video, I'm actually going to break this into two series. We're going to do one through five, and I'm going to do a to be continued, and I'm going to do another part two, six through seven, okay? That way you guys are rocking and rolling, you're probably selling cars, you can watch this, take the information I give you, not take too much, go put it into action, and go crush it. So avoid burnout. That's the number one thing that I want you to do. I want, it, I want you to be committed for the long tail game. Don't be short term. So number one, get a pen and piece of paper. Write this down with me and that way you don't fall victim to some of this. Number one is going to be false expectations. Man. Okay, so check this out. You get in the business, you're watching a YouTube video, Andy Elliott's making 715,000 a year selling cars, he made two and a half million as a GM. You got a guy in your store, he's making 120, 150, 160, whatever. They told you you could make a lot of money in this business. You got in it. Now, either you've been in it for a long time, you've never felt the money, or you've been in it short term, the money's not coming fast enough. Maybe even you got in, you crushed it, made a bunch, and now you backpedaled and you're not making that kind of money anymore. That was called luck, okay? So false expectations means you underestimated, which I put it right here, underestimate the amount of skill that was needed. Guys, you can make continuous money every single month and stay consistent. Consistent is everything in this business. When I go home, my wife doesn't want to see checks going up, then checks going down, checks going up, then checks going down. She needs to know that we are scaling, but definitely maintaining so she knows how to run our household. But guess what? If I was to bring home a small check, then a big check, and then a small check, guess what happened? We would have burnout because mama would be like, hey man, where's the money? We got to pay the bills. You know, we were talking about this is a great job. I don't see that great check. And all of a sudden, you fall out of love with this business because you underestimated the amount of skill that was needed. Get the right training, okay? All right, are you in love? Number two, this is important. Are you in love with selling? Look, let's talk about passion levels for a minute, okay? If I just want the money and I don't love people, man, I'm along for a miserable experience, okay? I love people. I love training people. You know, whenever I went from being a GM and went to sell and went to open my own training business, I went four months without any income and didn't care. I cut it off and I switched over. Why? Because I love helping people. That was all I was about. It didn't matter to me. Now look, now I'm not I'm telling you to do this job for free, but I'm telling you this. You have to be extremely good at your job. You have to love the people. If you don't underestimate the amount of skill and you fall in love with selling, and by the way, I just want to say this. You'll probably see my number somewhere here on the screen, which is going to be 918-210-0254. You'll see it down below. If if you want to learn how to fall in love with selling, if you want to learn how to get the right skill, man, just shoot me a text message. I'll take you to the next level. I'll tell you exactly what to do, okay? Let's go to another. Hey guys, I see you. Listen, I appreciate you. Sorry for interrupting the video. I just wanted to tell you real quick, please do me a favor. Comment below. Let me know what you're struggling with. Let me know what you think about the video. I reply to every single one of my comments. I'm here to help you. And by the way, please like the video, subscribe, share it with a friend. Let's get back to the video. Three is going to be taking advice from the wrong people. Holy crap. Taking advice from the wrong people is the number one freaking burnout salesman killer in the world. 
Here's what you got to do. Here's you, right? Here's you right now. I want you to audit your circle. Go around the people that are all around you in your life, and if someone doesn't believe in you, audit them. If somebody's telling you daily bad news, negative stuff, audit them. Get them out of your circle. Pun them. If they're not making you level up, write that down. Level up. Are the people around you making you a better man, better woman? Are they making you level up? If they're not, audit them, get rid of them. Do not take advice from the wrong people. Okay, be careful. Number four, falling for distractions. You got to stay focused. What does distractions mean? Well, let me tell you what it means. Going to pick up lunch for your managers. That's silly. Stay out there and go sell cars. Let someone else go get that lunch, okay? Think about this. That's it. There's difference between taking care of people and getting caught up in distractions. Sitting in the back and smoking with people. Don't smoke, okay? Stay outside, take ups, or go inside, work the phones. Distractions, I'm using my cell phone, right? While I'm actually working on making some cold calls or doing some follow up or working an equity mining list or something. And guess what? I keep hitting into my Instagram account, my Facebook account, I keep checking in. Those are distractions, they're killing you. You got 60 minutes in an hour, how you work 60 minutes in that hour matter. How do you get burned out? You get burned out with distractions. What you're doing is you're getting on Facebook and you're watching all these people post their beautiful life, how they say they can work from a laptop at the beach and they're not even working. Now you're working, you think your job sucks. And guess what happens? You're just getting in your own head, making up fake figment of your imagination that these people out there don't have to work and there's some get, wit, get rich quick scheme out there. There's not one. You have to pay the price every day. You have to outwork everybody, okay? Quit getting distracted. Let's go into number five, and I love this one, okay? And by the way, the back half, six through 10, is wicked. That's gonna be continued on the next video, which we're gonna run right behind this. That way you can take the information today, write down what you got, make sure that you take that, put it into place, and go kill it. Number five, thinking you know it all. You need progress every single day. Right here, you need progress every single day. Don't think that you know it all, okay? The second that you think that you know it all, your competition isn't sitting still out there. They're coming for you, okay? And what happens is this. You're either outworking them or they're outworking you. You're either out training them or they're out training you. <clears throat> There's no two-way street on that deal. They're coming for you. So how do you avoid burnout? Well, what you do is that you don't think you know it all and you keep learning more every day. And when you do, guess what? Progress is addictive. Makes you want to have a better life all the way around and have a better life will crush burnout. So guys, take this video. We're going to put on continued on a part two. Crush it. Hope you guys have a great day. Hey guys, number one, thank you so much for watching the entire video. You guys are awesome. I'm grateful for you. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have my training program. So I thank you, I thank you, and I thank you. Um, I got three things for you real quick. Number one, shoot me a text message. If I haven't met you, I would love to. My phone number is 918. 210-0254. Shoot me a text. I'd love to meet you. Secondly, go to Facebook. Join Andy Elliott Car Sales Nation. That's Andy Elliott Car Sales Nation. One of the best Facebook groups in the world, hands down, for automotive sales training. And then lastly, I've got over 500 videos on YouTube, guys. Keep up the training. Keep watching the videos and crush it.